Hello and welcome to another tutorial for SDS 900. In this video we're going to show you how to measure a point, delete a point, and stake that point out. So really quick we're going to assume that you've set up your base, you've set up your rover, and you've checked in. So all of that is good and you're going to be shooting accurate points. And now if we're looking at the main screen here, we're going to hit that home button, that little home icon on the bottom left, and then we're going to hit site, then we're going to hit open site, now what we're going to do is we're going to check what work order we're in currently. Um, when you're measuring a point, you want to make sure it's in a work order that everyone would understand. So say if you're going to shoot a manhole, you want to create a work order that either says manholes or as built. So the next guy who grabs this rover might actually be able to find this stuff. Um, if you just go measuring points, you don't know what work order you're in, it's going to be hard to find those points later because the points, all the information you record is going to be tied to that work order. So for example, we're in a work order called site calibration. We do not want to measure any points in that what we'd like to do is create a new work order and shoot a manhole. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the drop down box and go to new work order and now what we're going to do is type in manholes with either the keyboard or we can do the touchpad keyboard depending on what type of data collector you have. Um, you can add a design now if you'd like. We're going to go ahead and add the finish grade design. You don't necessarily have to record points but it is nice to record say if you're finish grade or um, what cuts of fills you have. All right, so now we're going to get ourselves level over a manhole. And now we're gonna hit that measure button at the bottom right, and it's gonna pop up this measure type window. Here we can give the name of the point. We're going to name this manhole one, and we're gonna let it keep saying uh, show every time. That's all right. All right, so you're gonna hear a little like whistle, and that means you just took a shot um, you'll notice there's a big blue box it just created. Um, as well as at the very top it'll say a fill of four tenths. So what that's doing is anytime you have a shot that's either a fill or a cut, if it's a fill it's going to be blue and that box will let you know that there's a, a point that was measured here and it's got a fill of some quantity. Um, if it's a red box it means there's a cut there. Now there is a way to get rid of these boxes. Um, if you would like you go to the settings and then you're going to see this coverage grid box. If you um, select that, it will take away the coverage grid, and now it's gone. You'll also see the name of the point, manhole one there. We can also make that go away by clicking the point names, um, and then it's gone, it just shows the elevation. We can also take away the elevations, and so on and so forth. Now you may also wonder as you're walking around the rover why it's beeping at you, and that can get quite annoying sometimes. So if you want to turn that off, there's a really quick way to do that. You just go to your settings, and go to the design tab and you're going to deselect that light bar sound option. Say accept and hopefully now it won't be beeping at you and driving you crazy. Okay so we now know how to create a point but let's say we accidentally created that point and we didn't like it or it was an error or something was just out of whack. I'm going to show you how to delete it. Quite simple. You are just going to press down on the point on your touchpad and hold it there until some options pop up. And you'll go through the options and you'll see a point that says delete point. Select that, hit okay, and you just leave that point, quite simple. Um, the same way if you want to stake a point, we're gonna go select a point, those options will pop up, hit stake point, and you'll see an arrow that's directing you to get to that point. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to head in the direction it's directing you until you get yourself plumb over it. And you'll see that I'm sitting right on top of it, but if this, say it was a clean out or a manhole that was buried and we're above it for by quite a bit, say a couple feet, it will give you a cut here on that top left. But since I'm sitting right on top of the manhole, it's just zeroing me out essentially. Um, but I'm right over it. I get these little crosshairs that say, you know, go left, go right, so many um, hundreds thousands in this case and um, yeah I'm right on top of it so that's how you stake a point um, you can do this to any point you can even do this to like design if there's a continuous line or are there certain points you can grab onto you want to stake out um, and we can show you that in another video